We woke up on day three, jumped in the toad for a short drive over to the National Naval Aviation Museum. We were in for a full day of history. You walk in, you're immediately greeted by sights and sounds and planes hanging all over the place. You don't know where to start first. It's spectacular. All right, which way you want them to go? Uh, right here. Coming right down the middle. Right down here is the line. Oh, whoa, whoa, overcorrected. Here he comes. Oh, oh my God, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, look at the shadow. That is cool, That man. is cool. This is the FH-1 Phantom, but boy, if you look at just. The cool thing about this museum is you can touch them. Hands-on museum. Close, hands on yep. museum. What was very cool is Captain Sterling walks up while we're at their newest exhibit for Devotion, the movie. Greetings. Thank you. How are you enjoying your visit? Oh, it's impressive. Well, great. It's a fun place to visit. It's great to meet you here. This is the Devotion, the newest exhibit. This is our newest exhibit. Uh, we just unveiled it at the end of October, and it details uh, the story of Jesse Brown and Thomas Hudner. Jesse Brown being the first African-American naval aviator in our service. Wow. There's a lot more to do here. There you sure show is. Us around? Let's Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, let's go. This airplane is the sole surviving airplane to have flown in the Battle of Midway. Participated in the strikes, and as you can see, some of the patches here are the over 200 bullet holes that it got in that combat action. What is of significance, that number, 2106, is how we identified that that airplane flew on 4 That's June 1942 on that fateful day and that probably the most significant battle in the Pacific during World War II. So this is the new building. It is. We call it Hangar Bay 1. It was built and dedicated in 2011, coincident with the centennial of naval aviation. And it hosts our post-World War II exhibits, one of which is Marine 1, wow. which is the Navy Marine equivalent of Air Force 1. It's the rotary wing way by which we carry around the presidents of the United States. This is the EA-6B Prowler. It's a younger cousin of the A6 Intruder, and it's an airplane that I actually have quite a amount of time in. It's a carrier-based electronic attack airplane that jams enemy radars or shoots missiles at enemy radars that are otherwise trying to shoot down our good guys. The Navy has treated me wonderfully. I did a full 30 years. If folks make a decision to join our military, serve our great country, it's a wonderful opportunity, and I'm very happy because Pensacola will be in the cradle of naval aviation. I see the young men and women that are joining our services to serve our country on these flight decks of these aircraft carriers and to fly these wonderful airplanes, and we're in good hands. So this is the main attraction here at the museum, Blue Angels. I've never seen the Blue Angels fly. Could you imagine if we could? Well, here at the museum today, I've got something special for you. They're gonna fly just for you. Stop! All in formation, four of them. All in formation, take off. From the minute they walk out to their planes and they climb in, I start getting goosebumps. Oh, big roll. to see the two single planes going at each other. They're gonna crisscross, watch this. They're gonna turn sideways. Yeah! Oh my God. I think I got a stomach ache and a headache from just clinching every time they went. <laughs> now that's just showing off. They show up out of nowhere. You turn and you're watching this one and here comes another one. Yeah! We were so pumped, so close to the action. You could feel it in your chest just when they went by and they turned. At one point, they were doing this star. It was just amazing to watch being that close to the show. I was worn out after watching it. I couldn't have asked for a better day. You could feel it in your bones. I couldn't be more proud of being here today in the Navy, being American. If you come to Pensacola, come to the National Naval Aviation Museum, you've got to check out the Blue Angels, the best six pilots in the world. <laughs>